As we go into the Memorial Day weekend, it's important to remember those who sacrificed for our country. And tonight, a veteran who watched his fellow soldiers die in World War II is getting a long overdue recognition. His hands don't work as well, his mind is fading, but give Raymond Chambers a harmonica. There's certain things that he's not sharp with, but anything that has to do with his memory or the war or playing the harmonica is, I mean, he's still super sharp. It brings a piece to the horrors Chambers saw in World War II. Sent to the Battle of Iwo Jima, his granddaughter says he witnessed the iconic raising of the flag. He did not hesitate to tell you how chaotic and how gruesome it is. Chambers was considered uninjured in war, but 60 years later, he discovered the pain in his knee was shrapnel. He's very, very strong. I mean, I, I could not imagine living with something like that is some type of artillery from the war in my leg. Decades later, he's surrounded by his wife of 60 years, family and representative Kathy Castor for the long overdue medals. He gave his his life, risked his life for people and for our country, and he he deserves so much. I mean, the medals are wonderful, but he it's just super, super overdue. A man at 93 years old given the honor and recognition being part of the greatest generation. And today, Chambers received the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal with two bronze stars, the American Campaign Medal and the World War II Victory Medal.